I get to tell my story and I get to show what I love and how hard I, I work. And if that can inspire that girl, that one girl, and imagine who she goes on to inspire, I was like, that is my purpose. In 2016, very suddenly, my grandmother passed away. And she was my best friend and my rock and my, my everything in this world. She was a light. Um, and that was, that's definitely, it's, it just happened fast. And, um, and that, that year I did everything for her, everything. And every training session, everything wow. that I did, I wanted to win for her. Wow, so you had and a deeper purpose. So I had a deeper purpose that year. So when I get to the 2016 games, it was really weird, but I honestly, like, I would come off the floor and I somehow just, like, I would make a lift that I have no clue how I made. Or I would be, like, focusing on, like, it might be a five-round thing, and I remember, like, I would always pull through right at, at the right second. And I would somehow just, like, every time I got off the floor, I was like, I, I, <laughs> I never knew how I did it. And wow. I would always just be like, it's her. Wow. And right before the final event, both of us had this necklace that um, was actually my grandparents that gave it to me. And um, her best friends gave it to her for her, it was either her 65th or 70th birthday, but the same necklace. And she used to use it a lot. And when she passed away, I got a little protection angel. And I put one on hers and one on mine. Mm. And hers is buried with her. Wow. So I always have this necklace with me. And right before the final event, I, I took it out of my bag. And I was wearing this high neck sports bra. So I was able to actually, so I tucked it in. And I was wearing it for the final event. And it was a really, I was in the lead. And, but this was a really hard workout for me. And this is probably one of the proudest competition moments that I've ever had because how easy is it to, it was pegboards and thrusters. Mm. And how easy is it to, like with the rope climbs, just go up before you're ready because, you know, it's, it's the win on the line. But at the same, I just took everything, you know, a moment at a time. Mm. And I'd do another pegboard when I was ready. And I would do the thrusters when I was ready and wow. ac actually get my best result, even though there was so much on the line but I remember I'd, I'd walk over the chalk bucket and I'd go over and the necklace would always fall out and I think it like kept reminding me like she's there with me wow and I was like holding it and I wanted it nothing more than to win for her and I think I had that that year and then that 2017 year you've already done a back-to-back -back win and I didn't know my purpose anymore and I think that was your purpose was now pressure it's like how to deal with the pressure and no. how to overcome this pressure. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I just kind of wow. lost that a little bit. And I don't think I realized it until I was at the games and I never had one of those magical moments. And there was a moment in time where I was like, you know, do I love competing in this sport anymore? Like, wow. do I want to do this? It's like, I was like, why do I want to do this? You know? And, um, I got this email from, there's a doctor at our gym who saw um, someone post this, that it was like his little cousin that she was 15 or 16, she posted this essay. Um, she was talking about how she had been, very, she's very down, like very depressed. She, um, she would go to school and she would, you know, do enough to get by and after school, she would go home and she would do nothing. She, um, in this one May, it was before Memorial Day, her aunt comes and she was so excited. It was like raving about this CrossFit exercise. And she's like, you know, wanted her to come with her to the gym. And she was like, fine, you know, whatever, it'll go with her. And there was all these people, they all showed up to do this workout. And they're all working so hard 
like some of them until their hands are ripping and they're all sweaty and like but they're all there doing it together and they all made her feel so welcome mm. and and she decides that she wants to join this CrossFit gym and she had been doing CrossFit for a couple of weeks when she then like starts looking at videos she gets more interested and she watches the documentary um, Fittest on Earth. Mm -hmm. When you won, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And she says she saw Catherine David Sutter talk about being the best version of herself. Wow. She then took it from there and she like, I started working harder in school and, and mm. she would be like, <clears throat> and that to me, it's like, she, she now has, she's happier. She has a better life. And what if her friends see that and see how inspired she is and a better version of herself and inspire them to get better. And it was like an immediate flip in my head I that is probably the thing that means the most to me out, out of everything that I've ever received or anything that I've ever done or gotten that someone could I get to go to the gym every day and do what I love yeah. and work hard towards that and I am lucky enough to be in a position that the CrossFit Games team and Mars and Heber they they want to tell my story and you, you know, thank you for having me on here, mm -hmm. but I get to tell my story and I get to show what I love and how hard I, I work. And if that can inspire that girl, that one girl, and imagine who she goes on to inspire, I was like, that is my purpose. And that really, that's why I started working out hard again. It's really? like, I want to do it for that girl. I want to do it for those people that need it, for the opportunity that I can then inspire someone else. 